Okay, now that we've uh, finished the first exercise of creating a database, remember you have to remember uh, how to create tables, what is a primary key, all those um, uh, data types that you have to remember. So once we've done that, now we're actually ready to import data into our database. Now to import data, um, I'm going to just switch over to here. What we're, what we're actually looking at is the uh, same as if you're out in industry, you don't have people sitting there for three weeks entering you know, manually into a database. We want to actually get data from other sources to input into our database. So it's a quick, quick and efficient way of working. Um, obviously, you don't necessarily only have to have Excel files to import. You can import from other other databases. You can import from um, from comma se separated files, text files, and so forth. Right? So uh, in this case, what we're going to do is we're just going to use spreadsheets for this exercise. And I'll go through uh, importing into an existing table, the one that we created before, which is the client table. So we'll be importing this um, client um, spreadsheet into our table. Then I'll do the programs one, which means importing from an Excel spreadsheet into a new table. So we'll let Access create a programs table. And for the last part, you guys can um, try for yourself with the um, with the membership uh, the spreadsheet to import that into a database, just so you know how to do it. So first off, uh, what we're after is um, we're actually going to look at um, uh, our database. Uh, so in this section, because we're on on eight eight dot two, we're actually going to open the training database, which is the um, <coughs> company one dot two. So you should open that up. And again, what we're in the first exercise, we'll be actually opening this guy here, which is the spreadsheet. So I'm going to open the spreadsheet. And we're going to let's have a look at the spreadsheet. So this data in the spreadsheet, if you remember from, from the first half of the course, all of these cells are just raw data, don't really mean anything on, on their own until we give it context, which is the heading or the first row of our worksheet. So the heading gives me context for if I just walked into the room and said, oh, green. Right? Green doesn't mean anything. Celeste doesn't mean anything. Advanced doesn't mean anything until I've actually created some kind of context for it to get information. It means last name, so client last name advanced. It actually means something, so I've got information from it. But um, to, to show you um, the Excel spreadsheet, uh, which is effectively as well a database, but um, the Excel spreadsheet can be, if it's correctly formatted like here, uh, that uh, can be imported directly into a database by saying each worksheet, so if I had many worksheets here, uh, like client, and then I had some kind of costing or whatever, I can actually import those as tables. So this worksheet becomes a table in the database, and the table, the, the client, which is entity client, is described by the fields or attributes in the first row, right? And then obviously the database or access will import the record. So each row is a record <coughs> for um, <coughs> for a client with these attributes. So we're going to import this into an existing uh, table within our database. So I'm just going to close my spreadsheet, and I'm going to go back to um, back to our exercise here. And you notice to Please be aware if you're using the uh, RMIT desktop that your functionality may look different for the importing exercise, right? But uh, the options are basically the same. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the file. We're going to say which file. It's going to be Excel file, and the Excel file will be imported. So let's just try that. Here we go. So I'm in my database. If you've got enable content, make sure you say yes, enable content. So I'm in my database and have a look here. There's the client. If I double click on client, I can see it's ready. It's empty. It's ready for me to put the stuff, uh, put, import my data into. Uh, I can go to design view to see the attributes or, or the fields. And the fields have data type and they'll have sizes, they'll have certain properties and so forth for each one of these fields. Right? So let's go back to data view. So I know I want to import, which means external data, get external data. And I know it's new source, 
do not use these guys up here right but here what we want to do because it's for export obviously so we're on the import we say where is the where is the file an excel file for us to import so now i'll have to go and look for my my file uh, just bear with me for a second okay So have a look here, week 8, and here's my file, the Excel file, I'll say open, and I want to not just import and put into a new file, but I want to append it to an existing table, so I've only got one table, which is the client, and I'm going to say OK, right. oh, it's currently open, I'll have to close it, yep, so it did. Uh, now I'm, I'm saying, what I want to do is I want to import the worksheet, which is um, which is client. If I had data range names, I could even do sections within um, within this spreadsheet. But worksheet client, and I can see here all the attributes are exactly the way I want them, and it's already picked for me, saying that the first row is my headings, and the headings imply attributes or fields within the table. So I'll go next. And I want to import it into this this table here and say finish. Right? So it's already done it for me. Now it's imported all the data. Let me just go back just home. And if I double click here, I will actually see all the data is in ready for me to um, to manipulate and add more records to. So if I look here, uh, remember we had we had some kind of formatting and so forth there. Look, it's actually saved it from the spreadsheet. And I've got X amount of records here. We just do Control Home to get to the top. Uh, if I wanted to, I can still go back to to change my parameters. But if I change my parameters, it'll affect my data. But that was the first part of um, importing into an existing table. So let's now close this guy. If I do right click, close all. all right. And now what I want to do is I want to actually import uh, for the next exercise. I want to import the program data. Where are we? Here. I think this is the work. Yes, I want to. I want to import the program Excel sheet, but it'll be to a, to a new table. So let's have a look here. I'll go back to my get data. Where is the data? It's a file, Excel file, and I know I want to import into a new table. So I'm going to browse for the file. It's program, so all the program data will be imported into a new table, and I'll say OK. And now it says the worksheet program, and it's read what is inside the um, spreadsheet. But uh, I'll show you a little trick in a second. Is um, uh, we we want the primary key to be an auto number, so we don't have to control it on an import. This this uh, ID will be set as a data type number which means when we enter new records we have to update the number and make sure it's not duplicated but what we want to do is make sure that this ID becomes our primary key and is, is data type auto number so we don't have to worry about it so we can do that in a second so go next first row is my headings yes correct and here <coughs> we, we you can change the different data types for this but we'll just leave it as default go next and you notice here this is why uh, we leave access to add the primary key because it will create this ID as an auto number that's what we were talking about just a second ago so we we don't want to have a primary primary key program ID because I can choose if I need to and say oh, okay that's my primary key but it'll change it it will set that as a number which we don't want so we say add Add uh, primary key for us, which this will be an auto number when we finish. Go next, in into a, a table called program exactly. So let's do the import. It's done it. Now I've got another table called program. If I double click in here, you notice I've got all the data from the spreadsheet has been has been imported. Right? All this stuff and this guy here has been added for me as a new. And I can already see. If I'm going to enter new records, uh, this will be an auto number, which means access will 
give it a new ID, not me. Uh, and in this case here, it's a number type, which means I would have to type 7, 8. And if I made a mistake, put in 5, uh, then it will really cause some problems. So let's go back to Design View. And Design View means I'm just going to take this guy out, so copy this, right? because I'm actually going to delete this guy. So highlight that, right click, delete, right? Or I can highlight this guy and go delete, which I'm going to. It says, oh, you're going to lose a lot of data and so forth, right? No, get rid of it. And this guy, I'm going to paste my program ID in here. So paste. And it's an auto, it's 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 an auto number, exactly what we wanted, and it's a primary key already. So I'm happy with all that. Uh, I'll save. And now if I run it. Now you can see that all my data for program program information has been imported. So now I have two tables imported using the get data source file Excel file. Okay, so up to you guys to finish the membership one. I'll leave that with you, and I'll see you in the next video.